Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Our High Calling, a devotional by Ellen White. March 5th, the perfect work of patience. In patient trust await his leisure. In cheerful hope with heart content To take whate'er your Father's pleasure And all discerning love have sent Doubt not your inmost wants are known to him who chose you for his own. The Perfect Work of Patience Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience, but let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. James chapter 1, verses 3 and 4 the Apostle says we succeed in the grace of temperance that we may add patience. Patience under trials will keep us from saying and doing those things which will injure our own souls and injure those with whom we associate. Let your trials be what they will. Nothing can seriously injure you if you exercise patience if you are calm and unexcited when in trying positions. We can see the wisdom of Peter in placing temperance to be added to knowledge before patience. This is one strong reason for overcoming the appetite for all stimulants. For as the nerves become excited under the influence of these irritating substances, how many and grievous are the evils that are done. There is necessity for the Christian adding patience to temperance. There will need to be firm principle and fixedness of purpose, not to offend in word or action, either our own conscience or the feelings of others. There must be a rising above the customs of the world in order to bear reproach, disappointment, losses, and crosses without one murmur but with uncomplaining dignity. A petulant, ill-natured man or woman really knows not what it is to be happy. Every cup which he puts to his lips seems to be bitter as wormwood, and his path seems strewn with rough stones, with briars and thorns, but he must add to temperance patience, and he will not see or feel slights. Patience must have its perfect work, or we cannot be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Troubles and afflictions are appointed unto us, and shall we bear them all patiently, or shall we make everything bitter by our complaining? The gold is put in the furnace, that the dross may be removed. Shall we then not be patient under the eye of the refiner? We must refuse to sink into a sad and disconsolate state of mind, but show calm trust in God, counting it all joy when we are permitted to endure trials for Christ's sake. Our High Calling, March 5th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.